Alright guys, today we're gonna do Gibius, a Chu Cthulhu adventure. And I had disabled the music, but... Okay. Read all about it, sir! Hurricane Herbert, storm of the century! A storm? Hmm. That's the least of my worries. Change. Everything's changing. Always changing. What's a Joe supposed to do? You take a new case and it's all you can do to be prepared for whatever it throws your way. Really? The only thing you can know is whatever it's tossed at you won't make any kind of sense but up against the last thing. It's the change, you see. Dark and ancient. Huh. What's not dark and ancient in Darkum? Everything. Damn. Most times, the new is just as bad as the old. Sometimes worse. Well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the, uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. Go check out this library. For, I already forgot the detective's name. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. Let's go talk to... Stare at the librarian. Let's if stare at him. detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. The name's Katype. Katype. John R. Katype. Here to see about a book. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah. It's called the uh, Necronomicon. Do you have it? Oh, that book. Yeah, uh, let me check. We do. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Uh, why, sure. Uh, you've got your, uh... Oh, wait. You're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, no, sorry. That doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. There's the cultist. Bad cultist! on the doorstep. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. Okay. We're gonna give it to that guy. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh! It's for you. It's for me. me. What, what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> is it me or is this thing ticking? They're stealing me. I'm being Mr. stolen. Katype! He's gone. Oh no. Was that you making all that racket, Kerwin? No, Mr. Person Monster. Nest. Someone set up a bomb in here. I was about to call the police. Nonsense. You call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was some firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? I, uh, okay, sir. I d knock it off for sure but i can't reach that high Anyways. i have no inventory can i throw a shoe oh yep we're gonna pick up this shoe i now have his sh i took 
I've got the person napped shoe of Katype. I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Don sends his regards, ugly. Let's go pick up this book. Is is this what Don was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up 200%. Who'd hide it up there and why? You're coming with me, weird book. You gotta say it like that too. You're coming with me, weird book, like you're Batman. Never thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh boy, <laughs> what an evening. Think, boss, think. Don's been kidnapped. The police? Or a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools? What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. Okay, might as well take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Kashap doozy dinger kumpa. Per Never read out of that. This is how Ash got in trouble from the evil bed. What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary you now. You don't see the I'm eye moving around either. What do I do, kitty? God, I wish you could talk back for once. Be careful what you wish for, but this is how Ash summoned the evil dead. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 wait. Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk. You talk. I'll stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and reverse this. That that should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right? I mean... Oh, oh what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's, there's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? Wait, sorry. No. I wasn't... Considering your point of view here, do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. Uh, yeah. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Um... Which one should we do? I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? Darn it. Can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. Mm, you've got a point. Wait, how about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really Lots into his weird. homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. Uh, he's away on that esoteric retreat thing, though. No way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. We're gonna do a B and E. Hey, Kitty, think you can uh, open that oven for me real quick and, and take a peek inside? Sure thing, It's got boss. magic. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs. 
You're gonna have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. But, uh, yes, and fear, fear is ovens. the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger? Open the damn oven, Kerwin! Yeah, yes, yep. I did it! Hey, and there's Lemma's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. I don't want uh. I think I'll take it, you know, for sustenance. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. I'll take it either way. That's a scary looking cookie. All right, Kitty, I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. Can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Ugh, this peculiar thing is giving me dizzy cells. Oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. Click's mouth. Now I have the book. Uh, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? We gotta go to the oven. Lighter. Gonna grab this for a while. I bet you we got to grab this. Put it to the if I remember correctly. Okay. Yay! Diary. Let's moderately heat this baby. Moderately heat it. Yes! Lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. All right, Kitty. Now let's see this list here. Mm -hmm. I think I got it. How's BG for all your supernatural needs sound? Uh, there's the address. We're practically neighbors. It's the best option we got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Dawn. Got kidnapped right in front of me. We gotta All go right, save you mentioned Don. it. Let's go. Chapter one. All right, Kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry-like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry, and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying. She's very oh, little girl. Hey, little girl, what are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy, what are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Well, let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. I don't trust Are you sure Priscilla. you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Uh... Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. I made a friend! You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Yes. Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is. I'll give you that. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too. Soon. Get my fishy! Fine, we'll get you fishy. So, you're just, uh, standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them sitting there. 
eyes away. Watch. Okay. Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what would you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. I made another friend. And I got an nice achievement to meet you, Margo. For, called Buddy Buddy Buzz. Can I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes. Uh, yes, I am I so popular. I guess it would be. I'm very But what popular. better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? I'm never getting married. We can talk to the taxi driver now because we got the name. So about yeah, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. I oh, I happen to have overheard. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. Yeah, sure. It's my friend Margot. Huh? Guess you weren't lying. Well, might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She... she's literally around the corner. Oh yeah? How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction and return it yourself? This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let me have it. Do I look like the kind of fella who'd pry into the opposite sex's correspondence? I wouldn't know what that kind of fella looks like. Thank God. Here you go. Yeah. Let's see, here it is. An old-fashioned letter. Since you said email can be easily intercepted, I haven't tried writing it by hand, but, well, you don't have to see the result. Missing you. Ah, sweet perfume. Your golden hair shining in the morning light. Glittery jewelry. Margaret, Margaret, are you sure about Tony's intentions? My God, he's your husband. Would he really go as far as hurting you? Or me, for that matter? I know. I was against this initially. But now I'm convinced you need to see the voodoo gentleman and try to get him to do what you needed. I started this poem about you and it's so hard to find words that rhyme with your lovely name other than cargo and embargo. All persist. So looking forward to see you, it hurts. You are paramedic in my horrible freeway pileup. Yours in Charlie. <laughs> oh man, I got my nice guy aura removed. I didn't say to look at it. All right, Margo, I'm gonna drop the act here. Charlie sent me. Charlie who? Charlie, you're a lover, that's who. Things are getting complicated and he said I should take it from here. I need that password. Well, all right. If Charlie said so, the password is Fidelio. Fidelio. Okay, don't do anything stupid, just stay put, I'm on it. Understood, Buzz. Oh, I do hope everything works out fine. Don't worry, I got this. Well, good luck in your endeavors. Goodbye, Buzz, and thank you. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, hello.
Hello there. Password. Fidelio. <clears throat> What's it called? Uh, hi there. Monkey Greetings, Island. Wanderer. And be welcome. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, worry not. I get my share of amnesiacs. You are now in the presence of the Voodoo Gentleman. Uh, the Voodoo Gentleman? You do voodoo? I'm Buzz, by the way. Hmm. You do at least remember what you came here for, I trust. I remember, all right. It all started when I found this book. Well, to make a long story short, I accidentally put a spell on my cat, and now she's even more annoying than she was before. A spell, huh? <laughs> How'd you go about doing that, Harry? I used this. Faulting voodoo fixins is at the... the... The Necronomicon in all its glory. Wanna have a look-see? No, 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 put that away. Th that thing should not be touched. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I'm sure glad I'm not in your shoes. Um, I, I can't help you with your cat, my man. Uh, there are some things even I don't mess with. But voodoo. Voodoo schmoodoo. That book is ultimate evil incarnate. Are you sure? Well, I for one wouldn't keep it in my pants pocket. Just saying. You are ruining voodoo for me. I hope you're happy. But my cat! Ugh, cats. We never did get along. What are the symptoms, pray tell? She kind of started talking. Oh, look, the cat speaks. Come one, come all, see the freak. She's really unhappy with her current situation. Oh, ye gods, I've had this nightmare before. Maybe a pinch, but there's no cold sweat. How can this be? It's real, Witch MD. Well, crap. Uh, I, I mean, alas! Please tell me who the man is. Sounds like he's our only chance. It is with great difficulty that I even utter his name. You haven't yet. Not if you keep interrupting me. Are you sure you're ready to hear his worldly denomination spoken out loud? Uh, yeah, Hit just me. tell me. I'm bracing myself. His name is Bob Olmstein. Thank you.